So uh, in this, I want to improve this particular screen where I'll say welcome to user. So I will first log out and then uh, the moment we log in, then this is the first screen we get, simulate your data source like this we are getting. One side is simulated data and then actual utility data. So this screen I want to improve. So basically I'm interested only in this grid. So first uh, I will ask chat GPT. So I have already asked like this. I want to create a web page showing two options. Uh, the two options should come in square shape buttons. So creating simple HTML page to whatever uh, like this. So what I will do, I'll copy this and then uh, put it in a uh, I'll just open a simple editor and I'll go to Dropbox projects so here I'll, I'll keep the code and then we are working in this one and then I create a new file new folder outside Python code so here only I'll create a new folder so, so sample web page and in this I want to store this file, uh, control s, sample web page, index.html. So, So something like this we are getting. Okay, I think this this is good, right? Uh, yes. uh, it is having some hover effect and all. So we will we will start improving the theme also. Uh, so what I will do, I'll ask it to add a heading, and uh, this one uh, should come in multi line with center justified, and then uh, slightly improve the thing. So just I will. Here, where should I go now? Chat GPT. Okay, I think this one I will keep it to one side. So, please add a heading above asking the user to. Select your data source. Also, welcome. Uh, that welcome anyway we have. I want to create a like a border. Also provide a border or uh, background uh, border around around the two buttons and the title and the heading um, please use color scheme of uh, orange slash red slash uh, yellow shades so this i am using to match with our iit hyderabad's uh, thing and uh, make the text inside the buttons multi lines and setter justified so let's see what it will do below is the html code the heading border around I will not even bother to look at it. You can do it. So hover scale. So copy code. Control A, Control V, Control S. Refresh. Huh, so it has changed the thing. So it already looks good. And so see. You can do it horizontally. Ah, no, see on phone it looks like this. Okay. Now, yeah. if I make it like this and if I again refresh, now here it should come. Okay. 
for mobile it is good okay. uh, make the buttons horizontal actually make the interface responsive it is called uh, horizontal layout for uh, See, it understood and made the this thing also. Horizontal layout for uh, desktop view and vertical layout for mobile view. Also, you can ask uh, the bold, uh, use the bold deleters. Uh, uh, no, I think this, this I feel. I want a different color. Also, you different color scheme uh, different colors to both buttons but make the second button more uh, attractive to the user and uh, add a small graphic or icon to the buttons along with text so appropriate and um, change the color slightly when hovered on the button. So let's see again what it will do. So it's already looks <laughs> good, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> the only time it is taking is for giving the answer. <laughs> so I zoomed out a little, maybe zoom in only better. See, hover, button 1, button 1 over, button 2, button 2 over. So each button it is uh, changing the thing. See, now I want to, entire this style is there, right? I want to keep it as a style file, separate style file. And I want to use it. Let us see. Um, so copy code, go here, control A, control V and uh, control s and then we refresh huh, so good so it is it added icons also and uh, Just this, uh, alignment. only thing is i think yeah the alignment again got disturbed so if i reduce the thing Now it becomes vertical. I think we need to keep the select data source above or something. Utility okay. MDS data. Okay. I think the color of these icons are not matching. So that's what we can improve it. So the heading should come above the buttons for both uh, for both uh, no above the for both uh, uh, horizontal and vertical views also see, see the color also slightly different you see and when i hover hover color is not changing okay so also make the icons uh, similar theme to that of uh, text similar color okay make the icon uh, match the color scheme of the icons match the color scheme of the icons with uh, 
with the overall color scheme. Please uh, make the hover color little more different. than the uh, little more different than the original color let's see so then once this whole thing comes up i will just simply embed it into our main simulated meter data utility mdms data Okay, so just go for copy code. Then we come here, Control A, Control V, Control S, and then refresh. Yeah. <coughs> and the colors. Okay, but still, I think uh, I think we'll just make it white. Huh. So in the mobile view, they are not center justified. So let's add that in the vertical view, the buttons are not center justified, or buttons should be center justified. make the icons white color what else changes we need uh, make the border of the outside box slightly darker and uh, see in the hovering there is no change in the color the button color needs to change when hovering. So I think the square shape buttons idea is uh, good. So. You want the text to be a little more bold or uh, bigger size or something? Size okay, it should be uh, bold rather than simple plain text. Okay. Ah, now it <laughs> yes. again it made the black. Okay. Simulated, but I think the. Icons are also good. Yeah, icons are good. Now I will do something interesting. I think we are, see, after a point, uh, if we do more, it will again spoil. Yeah. So, so but I will do one interesting thing now. Uh, uh, so far, uh, by what about hovering? Hovering color is not changing still. I, I don't know what is the, so far the, uh, page looks very good to finalize please do the following so recreate five versions of the same uh, box with uh, two buttons in each version Keep the dimensions same, but vary the color scheme uh, icons 
and uh, color scheme should vary icon should vary uh, what else should vary color schemes and icons okay also suggest uh, uh, your own uh, idea to uh, so also in one of the cases redesign redesign the whole redesign the concept in your own way i want to compare different uh, options and finalize provide number into each option okay. so let's see so this is something which we could not do uh, uh, version one what it will it will do individual i can't copy all the versions individually i'll wait if it is saying version two or something I will stop it if it uh, see the you notice that only little bit is there that's it uh, so it is all giving in the same single web page So I modified my question. So uh, here it did not uh, see each with different color schemes, icons, and one with redesigned concept. Here is the updated HTML. So anyway, this one it actually re it will just uh, repeat the same words from the question. But let us see. See button one one, button one two, button one three like that it will create. Button two one, button two two. So there is a slight variation in the background, but I don't know. Button five, button four two. Uh, this is, I think, his own concept. So now there will be multiple divs. Container, container one, then container two. It is using button two one like that. Select. Uh, it has given numbering also three, four. Five. So we can now see which one is better. What did we reach the end of the? <laughs> I hope uh, container four it stopped. Regenerate copy. Let's try regenerate. So meanwhile, I have this pasted right yes. so what i will do container 4 i will completely re or maybe this one is same right data in both directions electricity icon is different 
utility meter data i think this part is missing that's it so then the overall uh, body has to be closed so i have four options so let's look at the four options so first one second but icons are not changing i think uh, you can ask chat gpt to do uh, one more iteration ha uh ha -huh. icons are not changing bits change the appropriate uh, i think we we'll only but then i think our the first one itself is a better one right yes because the it will not fit to the rest of the theme yes. so Ah, here it came all five came. Okay, so please uh, reduce to see own concept. Uh, we could not see right. Let's see own concept and then. Copy code. Control A, Control V, Control S. Refresh. Ah, here it is coming white color. Now the some of the images, I think uh, they are not. Uh, maybe we need internet, or I don't know. I think this is good. This is not good. So actually, green also looks good. green and orange but green and orange again green will be attractive i think this is only better so what we will do uh, we will uh, we will stick to the first one and then we will say use the icon utility icon from fourth one and simulated data could be this one maybe simulated data icon from the second one and own concept nothing is there same you know it no creativity so let's okay now make the final version uh, as follows uh ah, in vertically also it looks good this color is good right uh, this color looks better than this color or ah okay what we'll do this color will apply to this one okay okay so <laughs> this is also testing the chat gpt actually so let's see now make the final version as follows uh, for button 1 for first button use icon from second uh, option okay that is one for second button okay uh, use icon from uh, fourth case option 4 okay that is the two changes we mentioned uh next color okay for the first button use color of uh, se second button okay no second but which no which icon is uh, for the first button use we have to mention the okay first icon only first icon first icon from second for the second button use uh, second icon from option 4 next what we will say uh, color only right i liked uh, but this uh, okay 
for the first button use use the background color of second button of option 5 <laughs> let's see i don't know how many it will create now Uh, button 1, button 2. I think only one option it is doing. Don't need explanation. Copy code. Control A, Control V, Control S. Ah, this this two colors look good and uh, I think here the color is changed again. I wanted the older color. I think colors we need to change and the icon color also should be white. For the second button, uh, change to previous color also. make the icons white i think now we reached that stage where you know if you do more it will it will spoil <laughs> so we should stop now we want to embed this into our website so that part we will try and do that next time i'll say just give the code no need to explain Hi, huh, you wanted the text to be bold, right? Uh, let's try that look also, last. What happened? Did it not change or copy code? It's not working. Please make sure that the icons are white. I think it is uh, trying to clash with the and change the button colors to previous and also make the what you call uh, text okay white and bold we'll try this one otherwise i'll scroll up and copy the whole code <laughs> Icons are ensured to be white. The button colors are reverted to previous ones. Text inside the buttons is white and bold. We can manually change the color. Huh. For that, we need to apply our mind, right? <laughs> so, so control. Uh, just huh. huh. So, icons are still... So... button text button text white where is this icon button img huh. invert 100 percent this one should not be there i think control f Hmm. So, we have mind to apply, but uh, okay, so now it looks good. So, 
now this whole thing i want to insert into just i will write uh, like this uh, so i want to embed this as a div into another web page kindly provide uh, so how to link the uh, okay make make a separate css file and uh, specify how to link this link uh, the div to to the css note that existing website already has a css file and uh, may have matching class names so let's see what it will suggest i think this this looks this came much better than what i thought horizontal it looks like this vertical it looks like this okay already it is over huh? okay let's see so okay step i think we have to read this step 1 create a css first create a new css file uh, yeah so so we are just uh, finishing one thing okay if it's interesting you can have a seat okay so to embed the html code you have into another web page manage its styling separately using a css for follow these steps custom styles dot css okay so this this one i will copy then control n go for a new file okay so control s so let's call it uh, utility dash css dot css utility styles so i created the css separately step 1 is completed link the css file to your html in html find where you embed this div like custom shell link the file here is how you do it so there is a header so uh, so here existing style will be there and then uh, here the custom style will be there so this i have to you but the problem is uh, what if there is a matching thing see this is also style sheet this is also style sheet okay let's go your existing contents embed the div with custom style class embedded container embedded heading embedded button select your data source okay that's it more of existing content okay so i'll just take this div as it is so we designed this with the help of chat gpt okay select your data source so i have to copy this now so then uh, huh yeah so we have both utility data and simulated data so here i want to keep actually so here see after i log in so here the, select your data source so i want uh, this uh, the new window which is there that to come here okay so now this is there in uh, home so now i have to go to so this whole website is uh, hosted on uh, google cloud okay so you would call console i'll go here then uh, console here then uh, compute engine then uh, open browser window
So I already copied that div. Now I have to paste that div here. I think the class names are being given different, embedded, something like that it has given. So let's see. So, so I need to go for my energy v4. So in that internship front end. So in that SRC, I think. components home so this is the uh, thing so here we need to find uh, where the so this is actually not a uh, html this is actually a js react.js which i don't know but I'm trying to edit with in that itself. So, <clears throat> huh. so actual utility data. So here is where we have to see there is a H3 here. Okay. So I think above this I will keep. So here I will keep. Okay, so now I save this. So now this is without any styles because we are not see embedded button, embedded button one, embedded button container, embedded cut. So these all things is there, right? So this one I will not link any style sheet now. I'll just simply refresh and see what happens. So I go to uh, website and then refresh. So it is loading. Uh, some error is coming. What is that? Uh, closing tag for BR. That is. Oh, okay. This is BR and then uh, span. Okay. This BR requires a closing tag. Huh? Why require a BR require a closing tag? Whole thing is A. It worked well in our this thing, it's not working here. Okay, for the timing, I'll just remove the BR and then see. So I go to my this thing. Just to create a new line, it uh, done like that, but let us see. We already changed this, right? Uh, line 67. I need to check here. 71. 67. I think we removed it. We did not reload, I think. Got runtime errors. Ah, this, this is a different error. Closing tag for BR. There is no BR here, right? No, here it is there, but in our data it is not there. Because of this small thing, it is. <coughs> oh, 
Okay, let's do one thing. Let's add the CSS also and then uh, we can do. Now we need to find where the CSS is being added. So, quit. index.css yeah so index.js so root render app okay not in this set up test app.js was there right oh capital a small app i have to remove unnecessarily okay anyway it was empty so it did not create so import so where is the okay so here is where the new pages are being imported import home from so if we create anything new we can import from here so where is the css being imported can't see ah first one imports so here uh, so here what i should do uh, what what are we calling our CSS utility CSS dot utility styles dot CSS sorry so next I have to upload this to SRC I think because the app dot CSS is here so upload file choose file recent utility css upload file will it upload here itself here it will show some window still did not come actually it will show one window saying upload or something Ah, retry. So net problem. So we'll try this. If it works, then otherwise we'll stop and then we'll figure out and then we'll we'll record one more video. So this one we designed using ChatGPT. So I'll show you options also. Ah, here I have to say authorize. Control N. I don't know why Control N is not working. Ah, it has connected. CD My Energy, CD Internship, CD SRC. So here I want upload file. Upload files. Ah, this should come. Okay, it's uploaded also. came outside I think ah, utility styles is here move utility styles to my energy inside that uh, internship front end inside that SRC So style file at least it is there. So let's because I try to run without the style file, right? Now let's see if it will run with style with style file. I think the same error is coming. 
okay that is probably because we are using uh, we are using react.js that is the reason let's see my existing website is using react.js so uh, how to integrate create a react component create the css file ah this j see jsx that's what the error message right yes, what was the error message when we here only it is there ah jsx closing tag for br okay good something new so three steps are there first step is what create a react component first create a new file in your react component let's name it data select source selector dot jsx okay so this is like a component and we have to export 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 it so copy code data source selector dot jsx so i go here okay control v data source selector dot jsx control s and uh, where is the okay i went outside only right my energy ah so this where was i doing uh, ah sample web page in this so paste save so this is for step 1 is done so here importing okay so step to create the css file create a css file named alongside with your component file copy the styles from custom styles dash dot css into data source make sure to adjust any parts and background images of the fonts to be uh, how to do this uh, but what i have to keep in that okay i think uh, this one maybe this is our css this is our css file right custom style dot css so this already we created utility styles dot css so here where is it linked fourth line data sources okay i think here we have to import your css file so already we created right okay. now uh, maybe it should be in the same path or i don't know but anyway we have a jsx file and css file in the same place we should have so i have the component and i have the link to the style okay next step. what is the next step so the step 2 is completed import and use the component now import the and use the data selector component in your main application or any other react component where you want to embed it so how do we import uh, import react data source selected from const app return div class name equal to app your existing uh, so just i have to keep this one see rest of the thing already is there just this import i have to add and this one i have to add okay and finally it will export them so this data source selector is there right i'll copy this and go to uh, my home page okay so cd components so in the components i have to keep cd home so here i have footer.js all these things right so vim home.js so here this whole thing which i added before i will delete this so here i'll insert this and then i will delete this So 
Next, I have to import this data source selected from somewhere. Here. So, import. Okay, so, not this one. Let's go to chat GPT. Uh, here. Adjust the path as needed. So that we need to do. Uh, where, where should I go? Now, where is the path? So, I think I should keep it in the same. So, so now I need to keep all files here. Okay, so, so JSX, this one, oh, two also it's selected. Huh? So, 11, 18, this, this one was same. Okay. What is the another file? Nothing else, I think, because we already edited the home. Okay, so done. Upload files, transfer two items. Now I need to move all these items to this path. So, MV, data source and uh, utility styles, sorry, MV, one by one I will do. This should go to my energy, uh, internship, compon uh, sorry, SRC, components, home. Then similarly, utility styles. Same place. So now CD, my energy internship, SRC, components. So here I have all this. But I think I have to edit this. So here, this is in the same path, right? So I just simply keep like this. Now hoping that it will work. So let us see. If it doesn't work, then we will stop here, figure out and come back. Huh, cannot find the module data source selector. I think we have to do import data source. So, huh. we have done that, right? See, uh, we are talking about line number 62 in uh, where which file my energy stat is. At, Missing module options factory. Uh, Index.js is what our thing is there, right? Index.js. Okay. Anyway, I think we will stop here. Uh, but anyway, before stopping, I will just show uh, the thing. See, uh, I started with the uh, like this, I want to create a web page showing to this thing. Then, uh, then I said, uh, you know, something like this. Make the interface responsive, horizontal layout for desktop, vertical layout for mobile, you know, give different colors, both buttons. And uh, add a small appropriate graphic icon to buttons. 
like this. Okay, don't be deleted. Uh-huh. So uh, the heading should come above the buttons. Also match the color scheme. Please make hover color little more different. Uh, then uh, vertical view buttons should be center justified. So okay. then finally, uh, so far page looks very good. Okay. To finalize, please do the following. Recreate five versions of the same single web page of the box with two buttons. Each version keep the dimensions same but vary, vary the color scheme. And also one of the cases redesign the con All these things are given. Yes, I will show that. So if I, maybe I will just open the main this itself. It's already open. See, control A, control V, control S. So I'll refresh it. So it created uh, five different uh, uh, themes with you know different color themes and things like. That. So what uh, what uh, I like this uh, this this uh, number four. I like the icon. Okay, and uh, number two, I like this icon. But uh, this was the original icons. Okay. So what I did uh, here, you can see. Even the icon code also, it is The icon is only selected. Yeah. See, yeah. some from some img icons dot com. Uh, it uh, free icons it has taken database.png electrical.png so like that it <laughs> selected the icons for it so then uh, what I said is uh, now make the final version of for the first button use the first icon from the second option for the second button use the second icon from the option 4 so <laughs> for the first button use the background color of second button of option 5 so then <laughs> then it uh, see if you see here uh, so it has created like this five options right yes, so button 1 dash 2 1 dash 2 2 dash 1 2 dash 1 2 dash 2 so 3 dash 2 4 dash, so like this different uh, colors it has given to so then uh, <laughs> so then finally now if i undo this one so, control S. Sir. So now if I, where is our final page? So after all that, if I refresh again, so this is the final selection. So this I want to keep uh, here in, in our website. Okay? Due to some reason it is not working. We will figure it out. Here I want to keep in this website. Anyway, let's see in the next. <coughs> 